Hi everybody, it's Debbie here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for joining me today. I do appreciate it so very much. And if you are a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back today. And I hope you enjoy this little haul I have. So this is just a regular, like a Friday haul. This is what, um, this is what's come in in the last couple of weeks. So I'm thinking of starting to do a regular Friday haul and, um, just showing what comes throughout the week. I, I have written down my future shopping plans. I'm getting a few things online and I'm picking up a few things as I need them. Um, but I'm not, I'm going to try to do a not so much huge Dollarama hauls and stuff like that for the next little while because I do want to um, sort out through the stuff that I have here, get everything organized and start using what I have. And uh, yeah, since the move from Ontario, I still have things in boxes, guys. Um, so I don't want to be doing hardly any more dollar hour shopping or craft shopping till I know exactly what I have in stock before I buy anything new. But so I do have a little bit of an online haul and they were some specific orders. So I ordered these. Now they were three, four, $5.99 or something like that. They were very little, but I've been wanting them for quite some time. And I think they're three different, I think they're from Sakura and they're water brushes. So I got them and I looked at them and I thought, this isn't what I ordered, but it actually is because they come in these little bags and they come teeny tiny like this but when you open it up and put it together it's actually a pen let me move this bag back because that's so it's actually a pen like this once you get it out and put it together so what it is is a it's a brush tip and it is a paintbrush like a very fine tipped paintbrush and you screw it together like this. Oh, I had the hardest time screwing this together, guys. So funny story. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're going to laugh. But so these come from China or they're Sakura. I don't know if they come from China, if they're shipped out of China, if they're shipped, they're Japanese or what they are. Um Japan, Japanese, it says Sakura Color Products Core Japan, but then it says made in China. So anyway, regardless, they're made in Asia. And I, and I just did it again. So I took this and I went like this and I kept trying and trying and trying and trying and I could not put this together. And I thought there's got to be a way to put this together. And then once again, I turned it around like this and it went and it goes on backwards. So if I was going to screw something together, I'd put it in and I would twist it to the right. We all do that automatically here anyway. But this goes the opposite way. So anyway, how this works is, is it's just a watercolor or a uh, pen or a brush pen. Um, you put some water in here. You screw this on and then you can just squeeze. This is like a soft plastic. So a little bit of water just comes out here and you've got your water brush. I have wanted these for a long, long time and saw this set on three pens cheap. So they have different markings here. And so I opened up this one. I don't know what that means. Um, there's nothing in English on the back that will help me figure out what that means. That says QRM, Q 
QRM. So it all is in the back. It says the same thing. But I'm going to open these up. I'm not going to put them all together, but I'm going to open these up just so that I can take a peek at the tip. Yes. So see this one? And the one that I put together. There's a big difference, guys, here. There's a big, big difference. So this one is very heavy. This one is very fine point. And I'm sure the other one is different as well. So it doesn't really tell you that. So I'll put a link down below. Now, um, you have to keep in mind that it is... Um, Amazon Canada. So this one's very heavy. It's even heavier than, oh no, maybe not. Maybe not. No, this one's the heaviest. So there's a heavy, there's a medium, and there's a fine. So yeah, they're going to make all kinds of fun using my watercolor paints. I've got all kinds of watercolor paints. I've got, and these come also with this little cap on here but once you take that off and put your brushes together I don't really see why you'd have to keep that but anyway I got those so that was my first fun thing that I got this week I am going to put these into a little cup right back there on my um desk so that I have them at hand. Now I have this. So fun story. I got a diamond art, not a diamond art. That's not the company it came from. I, my husband got it for me and I think it was, it's just off of Amazon. He picked it, but it was a diamond painting for Christmas and I'm obsessed. I'm, yeah, I'm obsessed with it. So I needed some supplies to go with it. So he got me the diamond painting and he just told me to order the light pad um, like two days after Christmas. And I got that and I didn't bother to show it. Um, you'll see it because I'm going to share my diamond painting. But I needed some supplies because those little diamonds, they're little, um, they're not beads. They're not rhinestones. They're, they're little plastic diamonds. <laughs> well, if you diamond paint, you know. But I ordered some storage. So this is what I ordered. And I think this is going to make my life a lot easier for my new obsession. So these are interesting. So these were... I will link them as well. Actually... I ordered them, and then right after I ordered them, I was going to order some more, and it said they're not in stock right now, So, but I'll show you what they are, because I'm sure there's other companies that carry them, too. Um, these are little storage cases for the drills, and the drills are the little bits that you use to, to create your dry, diamond painting. So, there are some labels, lots of labels, too. So, these little tiny labels fit I love these little storage containers but there's all kinds of these little containers in here so they have a pop-up lid like a tic-tac and they're very much like a tic-tac box but the top pulls off like this so that you can put your diamond drills in here and snap that on you can put your little label on the top with the number so you can set them up so that you can do your diamond painting. The little baggies that, that the drills came in for my diamond painting were, they're like a crinkly plastic and they were very, very hard to manage. So that's what I got. I got this. Now, there are... 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So 42 in each one of these. So 
Mm -hmm. I know that these labels are supposed to go with the corresponding drill numbers according to the kit when you are setting up to do your diamond painting. So I bought two of them because I'm obsessed with the diamond painting. I'm loving doing the one that I'm doing, just loving it. And I ordered... this. So this was just off of Amazon and it was very reasonable. It says a Santa Claus diamond painting, but it's not really a Santa Claus. Um, like everybody else, I'm obsessed with the gnomes. And I love to decorate for the different holidays as well. I think I can pull this apart like this. I was going to cut it, but I think I can get it off this way. So let me pull it out and see what comes with. Because the other one didn't come packaged like this. This is different. So I'm going to just put that down like that. And it comes with the little... They're supposed to come with everything that you need to do your diamond painting. So this comes with this little kit. This is a better kit than the one that I got with my first one. My first one, I got a boat, which is this little green thing. And it didn't come with this. So the first kit that I got came with this, which is your drill pen. That's all it came with, was that. This is, I believe, goes on here to make that easier. It's just a grip. Okay. It came with a little green boat like this. Oh, but the drill little, little boat that I have doesn't have an opening here. So this one has an opening right here so that you can pour your drills back into the container or the baggie. This one also came with extra baggies. My other one didn't have any extra baggies at all. And this one also came with tweezers, which my other one didn't come with. Ah, okay, so this one came with these little metal tweezers. Now, these drills are pretty small. And if you can see that right there, the tip of this tweezers doesn't even, this is bent. So that, yeah, the tip of this tweezers does not even go together. So you'd have to bend it like this, I guess. They're very cheap little tweezers anyway. And, but the other one that I got did come with two little pieces of the wax now it comes with the drills now these are the little drills that i was talking about and let's look at the painting first okay so let's turn this over and Oh, there's a lot of white on this, but this is a full drill. It's 30 by 40 centimeters. It has this plastic coating on top. And when you peel the plastic coating off, this part, this part here is really sticky. You can see that. And it comes with this little grid down the side and it tells you this is the bag number, I think. So this is the bag number. This is the symbol that's on here. So for instance, oh, this is kind of cool too, because number one is symbol one, two is two, three is three. And then when you get down to number 10, it changes to T, V, M, A. So then it changes to those but that's what the drilling surface looks like on them so you can see so you just put the little drills you put some wax on your little pan you pick up your little drill which is these little diamonds they're called drills 
and you put them down and you complete your painting. Now this, I got this for Valentine's Day, a Valentine's Day painting instead of, it's not Christmas to me, this, this is a little gnome and it's holding a heart and there's a teeny tiny little wee picture right there that shows what it is. So there's these three hearts and a gnome on this white and kind of gray background. So there are 27 different drill colors that go on here. And it's a 30 by 40 painting. Now the one that I just did, I think I said was 40 by 50, maybe 40 by 50. I've still got a little bit left to do. And I've been working on it since Christmas, guys. Yeah. So I'm going to have it done hopefully for the end of January. And then I'm going to do this one. Or maybe before the end of January. I'm filming this. Um, I don't even know what day it is today, guys have no idea what the date is today, but I'll put this video up on Friday. It's the beginning of the week, but I'm going to have the other one done in a couple days. I'll have it done before this video goes up. So I'm going to do this one and I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to set it up on my coffee bar for Valentine's because I don't think this is going to take me very long at all, maybe a week. If, and I don't work on it steady, like just a little bit at a time. So yeah, I got this one. And the one that I've been working on is square drills. And they're not as easy as I thought they were going to be. So I'm going to take this tape off of here. Take these apart. There. And I'm going to open these up. We can take a look at the drills. And I'll show you what they look like as well. So if you would like me to do some... Um, share my diamond painting with you and I think I'm going to do a drill with me video where I just chat and diamond paint and show the process what I'm doing and chat about it and chat about life in general I'll just you know visit do we'll do a visit and I may put on a video up that's I've seen what other people are doing and they're about an hour long they do a um a, they call them a whipping chat and they'll video for about an hour while they're just working on their painting and talking about things in general so if you'd like me to do something like that and then if you're a diamond painter you can just throw the video on and we can work together then um, yeah but this one this is different for me Let's see, I'm going to try to find a light colored one so that you can see it. These are round drills. These already look a lot nicer than the drills that I had. Um, these look consistent in size. The one that I got for Christmas, the drills were not consistent in size. Some were bigger than others, so I'm, I'm having a hard time placing them. These all look consistent in size, and there's no garbage in here either. Um, yeah, so let's look and see what the colors are and the numbers. So this one says number one. So this goes in the number one spot on the... This goes in the number one spot here, which is here in the dwarf. The blue of the dwarf. So this is number one. This is GO20. Now they're all going to say GO20 because that is the number of the item. This is the painting number. So these go with this painting. This is number one on the grid on this little scale. And I guess that's it. So this third number on here is the DMC number. And this, if there's a DMC number on here, then this coordinates with all the consistent colors. So, um, number one, number two, number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Lots of these tans and beiges and browns. Six, seven, eight, nine, tan. There's two tans, so we've got to be getting into the white parts of the background. Eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Almost looks orange, but it's red. And then there's another string of them. Oh, two more strings, 14, and then, let's see, another 14, oh, 13, so this is 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and then 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 26, 24, oh, two 24s, 24, 24, so they've got to be in that, that cream of the background, 25, 26, and 27. So there's 27 different colors, but there's doubles of some. So it seems to me that they're all here. There's no inventory list or anything like that. I've seen some of the women get paintings that will have an inventory list. So, and there are no, um, what they call, um, A, B, diamonds in here which are the glittery diamonds and they call them aurora borealis i haven't gotten any of those yet so that was this one and let me show you the next one i got so i'm going to clear this away and i'm going to show you the next one i got okay so this is the next one and it came like this so the other one didn't come just flat like that of course it was packed in an amazon box with the you know, a bunch of those big bubble balloon things that they put in there. And uh, yeah, so it was packaged. It was shipped quite nicely, actually. And this one came in a box with some food that I'd ordered from Amazon. And this is, I've cut the top of it open, but this is a diamond painting right here, special drill crystal diamond art so i know that this was a partial which means the whole area doesn't get covered and i just wanted to i and this wasn't expensive either it was just a cheap little one so let's pull out here and see what we have okay guys so we have one of these little kits. This is much like the kit I got in the first one. A piece of wax. This one's got tweezers. I didn't even get tweezers in the first one. These are plastic tweezers, though, I think. They don't look like they're very good. They've got a very... Here. Can't see through the plastic. But they've got a very fine tip point. Very pointy. Very sharp but just plastic, very flimsy. I don't think that they'd last long. But yeah, so that's that's just the um, toolkit. And let's see what we have because this is something different. I wanted to try two things different from what I tried the first one. So my first one was a square full drill, um, a full painting which means that it covers the full surface. And this is called a partial because it doesn't. So let me see what we have here. This is how the first one came. And it was harder to open up. This is a very little one, very small. Ooh, I'm going to set those aside for a minute. And I'm going to show you what I got. So this is called, it doesn't have a name on here. It has DMC numbers. It has only 12 different drill drills. So there's only 12 here. And then these are the symbols. So no numbers or letters here. There's the little double diamond triangle, a minus arrow, a back arrow or whatever that is. But this is completely different. So the white part on this canvas has no glue on it. It's just canvas. 
and just the tree area has glue. Now let me see if I can, I'm going to try to turn this back. I'm going to try to pull this up a little bit and then flatten that down because I think the paper's holding it up. So let's see. I want to flatten this down because I think this is just going to be a couple of nights for me to work on while I'm watching television. I have a little tray. I can put this on my lap and I will just, it'll just be a relaxing little snack sized piece for me to do. Okay. So you can see the drill area in this one and it's way different way way different so it has these different shaped pieces and there's no drills go on top of the ladybug I don't think um so all these little spots get drills put on them but they're not round drills and they're not square drills guys so let's look at the drills because this is what makes this one I can't wait just to see how pretty this is when it's finished. So I'm going to dump these little packages out. And let's see. Number one. So this is number one. Number one is, look at these. Number one is these gorgeous diamond rhinestones just beautiful and they are going to go where all these little they're going to go where all these little double diamonds are right here so this little bit of white in here this little bit of white flower here around this flower and around this flower and a few areas down through the middle so yeah but look at these and that's how these are going to go these are going to be placed to make the color in this picture just it's gonna look like it's been bedazzled guys look at this look at this emerald green Ooh, and these black ones oh the black is so shiny look at these so I'm not gonna bother showing you the numbers I'm gonna take these turn them over and show you the drills look at them look at these these are so so, so pretty. I can't wait to do these. Now, these are all little round um, rhinestones. But these four packages are different. So, these ones are great big ones like this. And this beautiful greens and blues. And I don't know. Can you see this, guys? Like, it's just... I don't, the camera doesn't do it justice. And these ones are, yeah. And then these ones are bigger still. And they are this beautiful blue. I don't know how I can show these off to the best advantage. Like, and then look at these. These, these are the number 10s, and there's a lot in here. This little bag is stuffed right fall, but they are this rainbow color. So I can't wait to do this. Now, I may do this as a whip and chat. If you guys would like to see that as a whip and chat, where I'll just set this up, start doing it, um, turn on record, and then just chat while I'm doing this so that you can see the process. If you'd like to see that, let me know in the comments below. And I mean, this is the end of this haul right here. So if you want to see that, if you want me to share that, um, maybe what I'll do is next week when I'm finished my other one, I'll do a quick reveal of it and then set this one up and do a whip and chat. So if that's something you'd be interested in, by all means, let me know because I don't think this one will take me um, very long and I think it'll be tons and tons of fun and it'd be a great one to do together so if you do your diamond painting by all means 
grab a small diamond painting or grab whatever you're working on and we'll work together. Maybe we can um, paint together. I think it'd be all kinds of fun. So that's it for now, guys. I do hope that you enjoyed this little bit of something new that I had to share. And uh, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, by all means, go ahead and do that now. And I will see you all in the next video. Until then, guys, stay safe out there and stay healthy. Bye-bye.